What everybody's talking about from uh, that game one between the Rockets and the Warriors. And uh, I guess we'll start with just the last shot by by James Harden uh, and the no call. That's because it's not a foul. Okay, I'm just we're just we're starting mm, to unpack all of this. Uh, Harden and the Rockets thought certainly there should have been. And Golden State hangs on. So I don't think it's a foul. That one. I don't think it's a foul. That However, one. The letter of the law says... No, no, Shaq, that one. that one. Yeah, that one. I don't... Listen. I don't think it's a foul, but the letter of the law says you're supposed to give... No, but space. I mean, on which one, Shaq? That one. We're talking about that one? Yeah, that's yeah. what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. The letter of the law says you're supposed we have to others? give space well, yeah. to land. Well, there were others, and, and Mike D'Antoni had said he was told by, by the officiating crew, like, we missed four of them in the first half. That's, he, you know that, why they said that, Ernie? What? Because they did. Yeah. And it's this, all this about foul. and it's all about somebody having you know, a shooter having a chance to land. Yeah, all right, so what's a, the difference between this one and that one? Because uh, right, James came a lot really forward on that last one, but that's a foul. Okay, so Reggie was not called. Needs to come forward. And that one right that's there. A, that's a foul. That's the same one. Yeah, just a different angle. No, this is the one, Kenny. It's the same one. No, it's not the same one. They're from different sides of the court. Yeah. No, it's just an angle. That's supposed to. Be. And that's here's, supposed to be here's the guy's airspace. One with Chris yeah, Paul. And I think that well. was an exaggeration by Chris Paul right. personally. And it all goes back to yeah, right there. to this that brought all the attention to it was Zaza Pachulia. Well, let me just stepped in and Kawhi Leonard rolled his ankle, and there went the lead, and there went Kawhi Leonard for that series. Uh, I just want to say this: Number one, the officials had a bad day. They had a bad day because they've been calling that play, and the Chris Paul one and James Harden at the end, I can live with. But that was four in the first half that were fouls. If they're going to go by the letter law on stuff they've been yeah. calling all season. And that's a dangerous play. Uh, when, you, when you have guys coming down on your foot, you can hurt. And, but, and I used this and I was telling somebody today, Clay and Steph both got bad ankles. If one of the Rockets players was well, standing under them when they came down and hurt their ankle a lot worse. The, the wars would be going crazy. But that being said, the refs had a bad day. They entitled to have a bad day, uh, but they just had a bad day Sunday, in my opinion. You know, right. I talked I talked to Monty McCutcheon uh, tonight on the phone. Monty McCutcheon's the VP for referee development and training. And we just talked about that because there's been talk about, hey, if you're going to call it that way in the regular season, call it that way in the postseason. And that is the intent, but he said it was a fundamental breakdown by that officiating crew. He was, he was uh, honest and candid about it, said it was a fundamental breakdown because what they try to do uh, and what they're instructed to do is on, is on a shot like that, you have a, a, it's a three-step thing. Watch going up, watch how they land, and then focus on the rebound. And he said it was a fundamental breakdown. They were not watching closely enough the landing, you know, they Can saw go, go up, and, he, and so he, that's, that's, ahead, what, that's what he admitted. The players only want consistency. So if you're going to yeah. call it during the regular season, if you're going to call it all, call it. James Harden is kicking his legs out, but a lot of guys have, have done that and have gotten the call. That's why he continues to do it. But the letter of the law says you have to give a guy space when he land. I'm not saying Golden State, they're, they're coming under their own purpose, but when you play shooters like that, if you just real close to them, it's a 50-50 chance that when they come down, they're going to yeah, touch yeah. your foot. Well, and you know what that does for the shooter when you up under him like that, it takes his concentration of being a great shooter. Well, Joe Borgia uh, last night on NBA TV explained it, and he takes a look at one shot with, that should have been called and another, which is the Harden at the end of the game, and here's the explanation. Okay, I, I'm going I'm to I'm speak as a shooter. Every single one of those was a foul. Thank you. As a shooter. Even the one with James Kick. Every play, single play, one of them. On every the single one of them. As a shooter, every single one of those was a foul. And they would, they, would, and they would inhibit you from making the shot. And for me, just looking at it, the fourth one, the last one with, with this one, James Harden's expectation is you've missed three. You're not going to miss this one. So, yes, I'm going to exaggerate my, my fall, and I flopped a little bit as well, but... Every single one of these. This is jumping. a foul. Every, it, so you, sure. you, you yeah. would, the expectation is that you're not going to miss the fourth. Every, it's kind of like Shaq and Charles, got, you get fouled in the post. 
you know the next time you're going to go a little extra hard in the post yeah. because you know the referee is going to say, you know what, I missed one, so this 50-50 call I'm going to give you. That's a 50-50 call, I would say, and the expectation. These are all fouls. Every single one of them would inhibit. Every single one of them would inhibit you from that's making a normal cold. basketball that's shot. That's well, let me say now. That's I would. I would say the last one wasn't a foul, but you would say you're not going to miss the fourth one. So I'm going to exaggerate myself a little bit so you could see it, and they did. Can I so just, can I ask you this question? It would have never been that exaggeration in the if history they didn't do of that. basketball and civilization. I mean, out of all basketballs ever right. been played. In all civilization. In all civilization. Does anybody whine more than these two teams? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, they, that hurts too. That no, hurts, they that hurts the credibility. I watched that whole game from that hurts the credibility. Credit. They cry yeah, 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 on every single yeah. call. Uh, so did you. And so did you. No, 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 no. Not on every call. Yeah, not on did. every call. Stop if it. I yes, thought I got fouled, I would complain. Yes, I'm sure. But these guys, there was, and there was probably five or six instances where the play was over. I agree. And the ref came back and called it. But Chris the Paul refs had a bad day. and James Harden got fouled here, every time. They're two of the whiniest groups in the history of the You like the refs because you got all the calls. It's kind of like the last thing I say on and this is how it is for big guys. And now you might, uh, you might even hear it differently, Charles. You know how you're taking a jump shot or a, a jump hook in, and as you're taking a jump hook, the guy's boxing you out right. yep. instead of playing D. So he's trying to fake like he's boxing you out right. as you're shooting. That inhibits you from making a shot the That's same a way as a shooter. As That's you, a foul. As you might expect at the uh, media availability today, uh, the discussion continued. By the way, $35,000 fine for Chris Paul for the uh, bumping of the official. Uh, Late in that game. I, I will say this. The NBA, all officials are great. They just missed yeah, some calls. They had a bad day. They had a bad day. But I don't think the NBA do our officials any uh, service coming out saying they missed three calls down the stretch. Two of them would have been on Steph Curry and he would have fouled out the game. But those players could have impacted the game a different way. Yeah, but they don't have to come out and throw gasoline on the fire shack. They, they never changed anything. True. Well, why do you come out and say they missed two, they missed three calls? They're trying to be transparent. That's what yeah, they say. The They're trying to be I don't want you to miss those calls. But I don't understand. But they also, I know we, I, it does, go, I agree with you. But they also do this when everyone's arguing like this and they'll go, nope, those calls were really good calls and we stand by them. So they do both. So they will exalt yeah, but I, them I just hate when they the say same the way. The you got to do both. The, the ref missed three calls down the stretch and two of them were the foul step cover out. That does nobody Yeah, any that good. doesn't do anybody. Well, let's hope that, that as the series continues, there's and less officiating talk and more, uh, hey. No, it won't be. I think them refs are just tired.